I feel like there's a lot of exciting shit going on. That's not too common these days. It doesn't even have to be too exciting for it to be exciting <laughs> yeah. now. Thank you. Like this Wednesday, there's a Gamescom. I don't know. Maybe it's a bunch of people just huffing on cum. But people seem to think that because the, the pandemic hit, slowed everything down, and now we're paying for it in terms of shitty games... But now that people kind of started trickling back to work, this next Gamescom should be one that, you know, I doubt Jeff Keighley is lying to me in the promotional email where he's begging everyone to restream it and giving them assets to use on their stream. There's no way he's lying. I mean, right? I haven't even heard about what people think they're going to announce at this thing on Wednesday, Gamescom. But I did hear people getting excited about it and the logic behind that. Like maybe the pandemic, uh, at least as far as the workplace and businesses being ready to like produce products while there's a pandemic, that has certainly improved. So I think that the game street is be at least a little better. You're my better. 38th favorite streamer. I hope. Jeff Keighley. The way the email is worded and the way it's supposed to be like Jeff Keighley is sending you an email and talking to you is pretty funny. Like I'm on a first name basis. Hey Jeff. Thanks. I hope they show more about Dead Space. That's probably my, outside of D2, my most anticipated game. Oh, and I also hope they those rumors of like a remake of MTS1 are true and they reveal it there. But that seems impossible, especially when Kojima's got his hands so full with huge projects like the director's cut of uh, the shittiest fucking game ever, you know? There's no way he would have time to remake MGS. So what, are, what <laughs> am I doing? Oh, uh, you better not hold your breath. But it would be cool. You want more new stuff? No more remakes, please? So what you're saying is that you want them to just, like, you could go anywhere with this. Have you ever played a fucking new game, dude? Have you ever played one? Can you name one that's good and inspired and, like, original with good gameplay and fun, you know, like, it's not focused on graphics and showing off fidelity it's not focused on hyper-realistic animations that take away fun. doesn't have some kind of bullshit MTX uh, shop or pay-to-win model or, you know, isn't constantly... Uh, you know, I could go on all fucking day, man. You really want new games? At least old games are safe to some degree. At least they're already designed. So they can't be like tampered with too much without an outrage they're protected by that new games suck simple the way the world works when games were new and the idea of them were new there was so much passion in it because no one really realized how much money was in it but once the world realized oh there's a lot of money in this let's just apply the brilliant like psychological scheme shit that we came up with for the last hundred years to games since there's money in it and now they do like uh exploitative human nature exploiting kinds of game development and design it's from the ground up like all right we need a game that we can use to exploit go go for it guys and then the nerds they they make a game that's how they make new games now but old games it was like some fucking nerd grew up thinking about orcs. And they were like, man, these orcs are going to have big teeth and fucking a bushy tail. Look at that orc. You know, their whole high school, college, then they get the opportunity to make it and they name it Warcraft or something. You know, whatever it is. That's how they used to do it. But now they don't do it that way. Mm, anyway, fuck you. I hope um, uh, that Dead Space remake is sick. That would be sweet.
they definitely won't let Kojima have anything to do with the MGS remake. You are an excellent reminder of why I talk shit about Metal Gear fans. It's like you're asking for it and you have no idea. <laughs> Thank you. You know, you have no idea how much of a bitch you look like. That's crazy. But it's cool, man. It's no big deal. Maybe you'll figure it out eventually. Oh yeah, rate, comment, and subscribe. Let me know what you think about Bushy Tail. Look at that or in the comments below. Don't forget to ring the notification bell, amigos. And subscribe, we put out videos every day. With that being said, let's get right into it.